Hello and welcome to another Houdini quick tip. Simulated caches tend to take a lot of disk space and I want to show you how to keep your file sizes as down as possible without compromising quality. The simulation on my right is divided into two. This is the regular file cache and this is the magical file cache. Now with the regular file cache, the size is around 15.4 gigabytes. This is the regular volumes and then converted to VDB will give you around 17.2 gigabytes. Now this file here is only 166 megabytes. Sorry, 162 megabytes. And so we move from 15 points and 17 points to 162 megabytes on disk saving you a whole lot and the quality is actually the same the example on my left is also the same the top the top simulation is around 2.14 gig on disk and then the reduced file size is just 35.5 megabytes on disk and the quality is also the same now let's get straight into houdini and see how this works here in houdini i have the pyro configure gpu ground explosion setup a very simple setup and typically you drop your file cache and then cache it to disk however this is the solution which is a zebra vdb file cache as simple as that it is the same, it has the same options as the regular file cache. It only has some extra compression settings down here, but mine setup is just the default setting. And you just click on render to disk and voila, that's it. Zebra VDB for Houdini actually comes with three nodes. The Zebra, Zebra VDB compress, Zebra VDB decompress, and Zebra VDB file cache you've already seen. So this is the compress. And decompress interestingly these two nodes are embedded in this one but I think the likely use case of these two is during the installation process where you would need to download the library it comes with the lab tools and so you realize that the naming has labs attached to it but you would need to go to their website and buy a license to be able to use it this is their website and I'll share the link in the description below they have two plugins one for houdini and one for real engine and then you can make your simulations in houdini and then import them in unreal engine it works so the understanding i got from their email is that it decompresses back to vdb during rendering and let's see the pricing okay so there is a free version which i'm using and then there is an indie version which is monthly and yearly subscription and one for studios and if you click on this free download, you have the opportunity to fill a form and then, you know, the follow ups will be sent to you. The installation process is actually simple and then you can test it out. So guys, that's it for today.